What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and I'll explain why I'm doing this video. But if you care about mental health, you're gonna wanna watch this video. And if you care about mental health, subscribe and turn the notification bells on, all right? So we are coming up on Super Tuesday and I've been watching videos about, you know, the elections and everything, like in case you didn't know by the title of this video, I am a Democrat or, you know, I'm more liberal leaning and all that kind of stuff. Um, but anyways, I was watching some videos and I'm just like, I'm not the type of person who's gonna go out and like canvas and go door to door or make phone calls, but I'm like, wait a second. I have a platform right here, so why don't I discuss this? So one of the primary reasons I'm making this video about Bernie Sanders, mental health, and all that is I've noticed something for a while just talking to people, all right? And it feels like a lot of people support the person, but they don't support the policies, right? Like, a lot of people support policies that Bernie Sanders is trying to get passed, but they're supporting politicians who don't support those policies. So I wanna discuss that a little bit in this video. So I will be talking about Bernie Sanders, I will be talking about mental health. I'll touch on a couple other policies as well. But anyways, if you want a, a video that's more um, heavy on statistics and everything like that, I highly recommend you go check out Tiffany Ferg's video. She is a creator on this platform. You probably heard of her already. She makes awesome videos. So go check out her video on Bernie Sanders. I'm gonna link it down in the description below. All right, so anyways, Let's talk about this. So Bernie Sanders, he identifies as a democratic socialist, right? And something that he talks about is the Scandinavian countries and kind of, you know, uh, uh, replicating their model, all right? So the first thing I wanna talk about, which I don't hear brought up enough, is I think as Americans, we have this kind of ego, right? And I don't, I don't know if that hurts the campaign or what, but it's like, oh, you wanna you know, model ourselves after these countries? No, we're America, right? But we have to realize a couple things, okay? Like, since mental health is my thing, I'm constantly looking at the rates of you know, depression, anxiety, suicide, drug addiction. Like, suicides and drug addiction in the United States are just snowballing and they haven't slowed down in years. Why is that? It's because people are miserable. People do not commit suicide because they're happy. People do not become drug addicts because they are happy, right? So when we're talking about modeling, you know, the United States and some of the policies after the Scandinavian company, uh, countries, like, let's take a look real quick because a lot of a lot of politicians are gonna be talking about like, we're gonna get you jobs, we're gonna put more money in your pocket, we're gonna lower taxes and all these other things. Like, I don't care about any of that stuff. I want people to be mentally well, all right? So rather than looking at the GDP, and this is something Andrew Yang talked a lot about, instead of looking at the GDP, let's take a look at the World Happiness Report, okay? Who are the top seven countries with the happiest citizens, okay? So as of 2019, the top seven countries are Finland, Denmark, Norway, Iceland, Netherlands, Switzerland, Sweden, okay? What do all those places have in common? They are Scandinavian countries. So when I look at Bernie Sanders, trying to model our policies after that, I'm like, okay, cool. Well, they're doing something right because they have the happiest people, you know, in the world. Do you wanna know where the United States ranks on uh, the World Happiness in Index? 19, okay? So it's not the lowest, but when we're talking about mental health, we need to start talking about what's making these people happy, all right? So let's talk about Medicare for all. Something that doesn't come, enough, come up enough in Bernie Sanders' Medicare for All um, uh, policy is mental health care, okay? Mental health care, people. Like, a lot of you who are subscribed to my channel, you care about mental health. We have to re uh, realize that Medicare for All means mental health care for all as well. The number one reason I see from my audience that they don't go to therapy isn't because they're afraid to, isn't because they don't wanna get better, it's because they don't 
have the money, all right? Medicare for All will help you get therapy. It will help you see a psychologist. It'll help you see a psychiatrist, right? What about all the drug addicts? Currently, state-funded treatment centers, they are backed up for months, even detox centers. It might take you a month or two just to get detox, all right? But if we have this all-encompassing Medicare for All system, you can get the mental health care that you need and you can get the treatment that you need if you need to get off drugs and alcohol. Speaking of drugs and alcohol, guess who wants to decriminalize marijuana? Bernie Sanders, okay? So Joe Biden just won in South Carolina, all right? And Joe Biden has been very vocal that he has no plans on decriminalizing marijuana. Many of you know that I am sober, I don't smoke weed, I don't drink, none of that stuff, but I'm from Las Vegas and we've, uh, we passed a law, what, four, almost, yeah, four years ago in 2016 to uh, uh, pass a law to make weed recreational. There are dispensaries all over the place and everything like that. That tax money is helping the schools, it's helping the city and all this other stuff. Like listen, alcohol, prescription uh, opioids, benzodiazepines, those have all been legal for years. But if you look at the overdose rates, guess which ones are up there, okay? Alcohol, not so much overdose, but there's a lot of deaths related to alcohol, such as, you know, heart disease, liver failure, drunk driving accidents, other accidents that you have when you're drunk. And I'm not saying to, you know, criminalize alcohol, but I'm just saying when we're looking at marijuana, we need to decriminalize it. So many people are having their lives ruined for being caught with weed, and it is absolutely mind blowing. All right. So the next thing let's talk about is free college. Okay, so I get a lot of people like, Chris, why don't you go back to school? Why don't you go back to school? Why don't you go back to school? I haven't made a full video on this, but 10 years ago, before I got sober, um, actually a little bit longer than that, I racked up a lot of student debt because I was a drug addict trying to go to college and I, I went and then I dropped out, then I went again. I have a lot of student debt and I cannot get any type of student loan or financial aid until I pay off that student debt, which is over $10,000. And for me personally, I cannot apply for loan forgiveness, okay? So I need to figure out a way to pay off that debt just so I can go back to school. But we also need to realize there are so many people who can't afford school or you're put in a position where you got to rack up student debt, uh, which you might be paying off for the rest of your life. All right. So Bernie Sanders is trying to get free college. So anybody who wants to go to college can go to college. Okay. And it's not a policy saying that everybody can go to, you know, Harvard or MIT or Yale. No, but like regular colleges, like you can go to them and you can specialize in something that you want to specialize in, which helps with education, okay? So that in itself is going to help people because a lot of people, there is a correlation, not a causation, but a correlation between being uneducated or undereducated and depression, okay? And I get why it can make you feel like a loser, it can make you feel like you're not good enough, you don't have as many opportunities and all that kind of other stuff. So I'm gonna link down below a link to Bernie Sanders' page where you can look at the policies. Like again, like, like vote for whoever you want to, but just know what policies they back up. Like although I'm liberal and uh, you know I'm registered as a Democrat, I voted for Republican uh, senators here in Nevada just because they had better policies. Like, I don't care what side of the aisle you're on. Policies are what matter. So the last thing that we're gonna talk about is how are we gonna pay for it all? How will we pay for it all? Now, if you hear about Bernie Sanders, you often hear about taxing the rich, okay? That, that whole narrative gets like spun and all sorts of out of control. Most of us, you know, sitting here, we are not rich, but yes, he, he's not trying to make the rich poor. He's talking about having the rich pay their fair share, okay? Because for those of us, like, I don't know about you, but I can barely afford a tax person, right? Tax people are expensive as heck. But you have these billionaires who have like teams of lawyers and finding every single loophole possible to get through the cracks and not pay, pay their fair share. So Bernie Sanders wants 
to do that, so that'll help fund the policies that he's talking about. But more importantly, and this is not brought up nearly enough. It's not brought up nearly enough, but we also need to understand that Bernie Sanders doesn't want to keep us in these endless offensive wars, right? And also he wants to decrease the military budget a little. Under Trump, we have increased the military budget. And here's the thing, like it's like being the buffest dude in school or buffest woman in school and then taking steroids. It's like, yo, you're already the biggest and you're already the strongest dial it back just a little bit. Like, look at these graphs. Look at these graphs about where America is with the size of our military compared to other countries. Like, we got this. We're good, okay? We are fine, right? Like, I respect, I love our troops, fighting for our freedoms, trying to help out other countries, and all that other stuff. But, but we don't need a ton of new tanks, we don't need a ton of new weapons, we don't need all these drones and everything like that, like just chill, maintain what you got. So if we look at how much we're spending on the military, just taking a fraction of that, just a fraction of that will be more than enough to help pay for Medicare for all. And remember, that includes mental health care, that includes rehab, all right? So I'm gonna repeat what I said at the beginning of this. People in the United States are miserable. You can tell by the stats, okay? We have so many people struggling with depression, so many people struggling with anxiety. We are experiencing so many suicides each year. There are tens of thousands of drug overdose deaths every year as well. What if we can help make America's citizens happier so we quit trying to kill ourselves? You know what I'm saying? And that's one of the reasons why I support Bernie Sanders. And check it out. If you, if you don't agree with me, that's cool. The only thing I ask is down in the comments below, just please be civil. Just please be civil. But yeah, I just wanna make this video do my part. I will link down below um, Tiffany Ferg's video on Bernie Sanders. I'm gonna link a video from Secular Talk. He's one of my favorite political um, commentators. I'm gonna leak a video that he did, I think a year ago, about um, what Demo uh, democratic socialism actually is, because there's a lot of mis misconceptions about it. And then I'm gonna link uh, a video from some more news. Uh, he's hilarious, and he recently did a video on Bernie Sanders uh, not being electable, and just kind of like the smear campaigns and everything like that. But anyways, I, I, I would love to hear your thoughts if you have anything that, you know, if, if I'm missing something, if there are other candidates who support, um, you know, making citizens happier than they currently are, which doesn't just mean money, because obviously we know money doesn't make us happy. But if you can point anything out that I'm missing, I'm more than happy to take a look. What I try to do, I'm, I'm constantly trying to see what other people are saying, like other supporters are saying. I even check and see what Trump supporters are saying and conservatives are saying. Like, I want to understand where they're coming from. But again, I wanted to make this video because I hear them saying one thing, but they're voting in a different direction, all right? We need to support policies and not so much politicians, okay? Like, not just their personalities. We need to know what they stand for, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. Huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody who supports the channel uh, by buying my mental health books at TheRewiredSoul.com and The Rewired Soul merch. All right, thanks again for watching. Go out there and vote, and I'll see you next time.